Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. And look, yet another Altura backpack. This one is called the Light Traveler. And look at what all I can fit in there, but it's small. If you like this video, please remember to hit us up with the like button underneath. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can share videos like this with your friends and family for future tutorial unboxings and sessions. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Now this is one of their newest ones to their backpack lineup. It's the Altura Photo Light Traveler. It's a smaller design, but it's still made out of really nice material. This is what they call an 840D waterproof nylon. Very well meshed together. Again, it has padding throughout. And remember, these zippers are fully covered by this outer area to guarantee that you don't get excess debris or water in case it's raining. Now this guy doesn't open from the back like the big brother. This guy is actually a front loading, but wow, there's that nice design, very well padded, nice Velcro. I love the fact that they add this elastic compression band because this is meant to make sure that your product doesn't fly out, especially when you're holding it up. And you have yet another nice pocket over here so you can store some more accessories. And here's another section for a tablet. And remember that the interior is fully customizable, so you can move this around depending on the gear that you want to take along. So all these dividers have Velcro and they can be completely pulled out. So that way you guarantee you get to fit the product that you want to take along with you. Again, very well defined, nice pocket up front. Plenty of place for storage. Here's yet another pocket. And notice how it has padding in the back, so it gives you nice lumbar support and a clip so you can hold it much firmly and load straps. Again, they thought of everything. Very well done. The exterior, the height is 14.5 inches. It's 5.5 inches in depth. And you also have 9.8 inches in length. The interior dimensions are 9 by 4.5 by 14.35 inches. And notice that here, your storage compartment, where you can put batteries and whatnot, you actually have an area which this actually protects to cover the zipper so you don't scratch your equipment. What I like about this pocket is that you can take your favorite tablet with you. So here we have an iPad, even this guy, which is very well padded because I use this guy out on the field. So this guy will go in here with no problem. And this guy is even very rubberized. So I, I take this guy on the field and I mistreat it. So I got to make sure it lasts. So basically what you have in here is you want to make sure that you don't take anything that's wider than eight inches and about 12 inches in length. So yeah, I would say an iPad or some of the smaller netbooks that are out there or tablets that will work perfectly in here. Now let's take a look at how well this fits equipment inside. Now you can customize this guy however you want, but here I'm using very popular DSLR. This one is a Rebel. It's about four and a half, four inches in height. You don't want to go anything higher than four and a half inches. So you should be able to also fit a smaller size DSLR like this if you want to put it with a grip. And here it's with a 18 to 135. But then I have way more pockets. I have six more pockets that I can customize. So if you want to take a longer zoom, something like my 70 to 300 Sigma, it fits lying down. You won't be able to stand it up. But you have plenty of room for other lenses, LED light, strobe. Here I have yet another pocket so I can put triggers in here. I have my prime Tamron lens in here. So I have plenty of room. Plus, I have another pocket here where I can take along my filters and some extra memory cards and batteries, tablet if you choose to. You have another pocket up front right here. And this guy, you can take some cleaning supplies. I always take a hurricane blower and of course a microfiber along. And of course, typical Altura, you're gonna get their, their accent. 
very well padded handle so that way even if you want to carry because again this is a small bag and i'll show you because i'm going to wear it next and show you how small it is it actually looks pretty small on a larger guy like me but it does a job and again it's small enough that you can take it on you onto any airplane because it'll fit in the overhead and underneath the front seat and don't forget you have your side pocket for a tripod so here I happen to carry along my Be Free from Manfrotto. I've had great results, nice and small. You feed it through the loop, because this is adjustable here, so you can adjust it depending on the size tripod. And then open up the tripod flap, and you're going to put two of the legs right in there to hold it secure. Close this back up, and then pull on this guy so that it's nice and secure and it doesn't go anywhere so now it hangs on your side very easy to work with you can work with again small tripods or monopods now let's take a look on how to wear this guy now to get this ready first you place your gear in here and then you want to loosen the shoulder straps so these guys are nice and loose and then you adjust them yourself so you loosen them up so that they're set for larger people especially like myself See, that's how it loosens it up. And you also want to loosen this guy, which is the one that is for the sternum. So you loosen this up also, so that you have plenty of room. And then as you put it on, you tighten it up. Now, as I said, this guy is completely adjustable, but notice how small it is, very easy to carry. You can carry it with your hand very comfortably. Now. You have to loosen everything up, especially for a size like myself. I have to loosen the shoulder straps, the lumbar support, the sternum. Everything is pretty much maxed out. But if you're a normal sized human being, this is very easy to work with. All right, so now you put this guy on. And remember, you have your sternum strap here. I have it, again, pretty much extended to the max. right so now and this is movable up and down you can adjust it depending on what feels comfortable for you so you don't choke yourself clip it and then you can tighten it up to the way that it suits you best so this is nice and comfortable for me here now I pull on the load so that it doesn't ride too low on the back and there you go. Again, this holds it in place, so if you have to do some heavy running or moving or climbing, which I'm not gonna do any of that, it holds it nice and taut so that it gives you great back support, especially with the lumbar support here with the padding, it does a really good job. And again, I'm taking a good amount of gear, but you can make this a lot lighter. It all depends on how much you wanna take with you for a day of shooting. So again, in the market for a smaller backpack, Take a closer look at the Altura Photo Light Traveler. Happy shooting!